Hello everybody, welcome back to Drunken Sailor. It's another holiday edition and I am Bill, your drunken elf, your drunken sailor. It's the holiday season, there's lots of fun cocktails to make and we're trying to think of something decadent to make because this is the time of year we get together with friends and family and really you want to have a cocktail in hand when you're dealing with friends and family. So today we're making something I think is pretty decadent absolutely delicious. We are making a creme brulee martini. Let's get pouring. We're going to make this in a shaker. So we're going to get our shaker glass out. There's not a ton of alcohol in this one, but what you're really going to like about it with the cream and all the other stuff that goes in there, it's extremely custardy. It has got a great custard taste and it's a lot of fun. First off, we're going to start with in there is two ounces of heavy cream. You could use milk, you could use almond milk, you could use half and half, but you want that heavy cream because you want it nice and thick. The next thing that you're going to do is take some turbinado sugar. The French term for it is to brulee it. It's kind of caramelizing it. Just take it, put it in a dish, and you want to make it, uh, just heat it up. You're going to see it start to bubble and change color. That's changed it to caramel. You don't want to make a full caramel in there. Our next ingredient in there is going to be a vanilla syrup. It's a simple syrup um, it with a little bit of vanilla extract in there. You can make it with vanilla beans however you want, but we're going to use a quarter ounce. Next ingredient going in there is, is the booze. We are going to use vanilla vodka and that is going to have two ounces in there. And as he said, it's going to be custard. And what do you need for custard? You got to have egg whites. So, compliments of uh, one of the girls in the backyard, one fresh egg, and we're going to put in the egg white. Now all we've got left to do is give it a shake. I'm going to shake this really good as a dry shake first. It's going to emulsify your egg. It's going to give it some of that body. And next, we ice it up. And now we're going to give it a really good shake to chill it down. Next we get to pour. So we're going to grab our martini glass and we pour. But you're looking at it and you're saying, hey, that doesn't look like a creme brulee. We're missing something. We're missing the caramelized top on it. What we're going to do is take, just take some white sugar and you're going to sprinkle that across the top and you're going to need quite a bit of it. You'll see it just kind of sink below the bottom of it, but as you start to uh, brulee it, it's going to come back up to the top. And just be patient with it. Like I say, it takes quite a bit of time to get this going. Sometimes uh, once you get a caramel or a caramel top on there, if you sprinkle a little bit more sugar on there, Helps to give you that crusty creme brulee. And there we have today's holiday cocktail, the creme brulee martini. Cheers, everyone.